Hey traders, last day of 2022 here. Um, I'm just going to talk about a couple trades this week and a little bit of an explanation of why I'm a day trader. Um, yes, I, everyone who trades has seen KALA do this m crazy move this week, right? Um, and it would have been nice to grab the gap up here and hold it all and then sell it all at $44.99 in three days. Um, for one, that's not feasible. Um, but two, I don't like holding overnight. So what we try to do is find the stocks that are in play um, and take advantage of intraday setups and then pack back to cash every night. And this is a pretty good example of that. Now, I didn't trade this. I don't even think there was a call on this on, uh, on Friday, which was this day, because um, I said it's a little extended and I'm a little scared of it. But the first day we had it on our radar, right? We saw the volume um, and the numbers are it went from 6 to 17.48. But on an intraday basis that day, I'll slide this over. You can see Kevin P's great call. He said it's holding up well. If it curls, I like the 950 second mouse. Time stamp, that was at 1124 in the morning, so somewhere around here. And then the volume came in and he even gave a heads up on that. And 950 is right where that arrow is hitting, right? And if you grab that, you had the high of day above as another catalyst. So even missing the initial move, you get filled at 950, you get the halt, and then the crazy move pretty quickly to 1748 um, so you know it was still playable even if uh, even if you didn't want to hold it overnight or even if you missed the initial gap up you got this nice flag and a great post and then the next day the numbers are it ran from 1350 to third almost 3050 and Kevin P strikes again um, this is the intraday five minute candles this line right here was the high of the day and this line was yesterday's high you can't see it in the picture but I drew a line there so you can see again you've got stacked catalysts you've got the high of day break and you've got yesterday's high above on a recent high flyer right <clears throat> Kevin P again 1650 was right here the high of day was slightly above that right that line um, so the 1650 idea this time didn't go right away it held because the stop was below the previous five minute candle which was a full dollar risk but if you had the right position size, you took it, held, had your stop in place. Um, I gave a second idea for those that didn't take the 1650 or maybe hit back out and got scared that the high of this spike was 1670. So I thought over 1670, the high of day, I think was 1688. So it's 18 cents away. And yesterday's high is slightly above that. So if you took that entry, that one did work right away. You were never really underwater. And again, you got the move to over 30 bucks. So two different ways to play K-A-L-A. And let me show you one other thing from the week was um, HTGM. HTGM, I guess this was maybe Tuesday, had this big volume spike. An ugly daily, right? Um, but it was a recent reverse split and those were in play. Those were in vogue. So um, had big volume on this day. Topped out at 521. Then put in a red day. And then the day after that, coming into this day, I had it on watch. Um... And it went from 353 to 483 that day. Nice move, right? Percentage wise. And this is a good example. Gunil posted HTGM over 350. Again, time stamped about 10 o'clock. And then so shortly after that, you got the 350 break. Why the 350? Because you had a half number inflection point with the high of day not far above and yesterday's high not yesterday's high not far above that. And it cut right through both of them and had a really, really nice move. Percentage-wise, 350, you can see. Um, and we, we can go to that day again. It went, yeah, it went to 483. That's a very nice percentage move. And the point of this is that if you're focusing on stocks in play, right? And there, there was that day. You're focusing on stocks in play. There's the 350 break. Um, you had a really nice move uh, without having any risk of overnight hold, no hold and hope, right? You get up every day, look for the stocks that are in play, look for the A plus setups um, for examples like this, you know, half number, whole number of inflection points with, with stacked catalysts above. You don't have to subject yourself to the overnight risk. And I am looking forward to doing a lot of this with y'all in 2023.